The past couple weeks has been pretty wild getting the water systems ready for a spring garden and for a successful monsoon season. I've been alcohol free for four months and in that time I've lost 35 pounds. Dave was nice enough to send in some edelberry and there was a no name gift which is this fence puller and I needed it after the tower had fallen on the fence and busted it loose. No buddy, I'm not going to replace you. It's just easier to pull a wagon with this right now because you won't let me harness you, let alone pull a wagon, okay? Glad we had this talk. I still have about 600 gallons of water in the new pond, so I needed to build a bog filter. I ran and got some stone, dug a hole up above the pond, and I'm going to line it and then throw in rock, plant fabric, more rock, and... I'll run a 12 volt pump so it pumps the water up from the pond up into the very bottom of the bog filter. It'll be forced up through the rock, through the plant fabric, through more rock, which will allow a lot of oxygen and create a good area for bacteria to breed. And we want bacteria because ponds produce nitrogen and algae loves nitrogen. But guess what loves algae is bacteria. So by having a bog pump or a bog filter like this, I can run the water through that bacteria and continually get rid of algae, continually keep it moving so we don't have mosquitoes and whatnot. After a quick break, I got back to work and what I've done is fenced in this entire area around the chicken coop the greenhouse, and the kind of garden area that's next to the geothermal. And what this does is keeps the dogs out. It allowed me to dig swells around the perimeter, and I'm going, to, well, I already did. I threw down more seed, and then I threw compost on top of the seed, and I'm just making a much larger dedicated area for gardening. The only way to get into the garden is through the greenhouse. So I have two large doors at the front. You walk through the greenhouse, there's two large doors in the back, and then you have access to the garden. And what I plan to do next is tear apart the old compost bins, use that corrugated steel at the back of the garden to make a solid wall so no wind can come in and damage the garden. And then I'll just use rewire and I'll make two big hoops and fill those full of compost and I'll just keep them moving that way. And what I'm doing here, <laughs> I have a shop vac. I pulled out the filter and I'm sucking out all of the compost in the chicken coop that's been there, you know, all through, well, it's been there for like six, seven months because I let it build up in the fall to make compost, which creates heat and keeps the chickens warmer throughout the winter. It's finally above freezing, so I'm sucking it all up into the vacuum here without the filter, and then I'm going to dump it around all these swells that I have just dug to help with seeds and whatnot, because this has been composting essentially for six months in the chicken coop. If you want a copy of my free ultimate guide to off-grid living, hit the link below. In addition to the swells I dug around the perimeter of the garden, I dug one on the outside of the fence here that runs over to the pond from the opposite direction of the original swells, which already fill the pond, so I'll just be getting more water directed to the pond in monsoon season. The pond and the garden are coming along nicely, and I'm ready for the rain.